We're about to turn to Daf Yud Chesam and Beis, but we're looking at the last two lines on Yud Chesam and Alf Itmar. Now, originally, the mission on Daf Yud Zion addressed the case of a sukkah, which the, the uh, sukkah leads into what's called an achsadra, which is a flat piece of roof that has no openings to it. And we learned that Sichech al Gabi achsadra, if let's say he places schach on top of the achsadra, so the Schach extends from the top of the of his sukkah all over to this contiguous ceiling of an achsadra. Achsadra is like a an open, like a gazebo kind of thing. Is then, you know, under what conditions could possibly the sukkah be kshera? This is going to be a baye sheet. The rabbi is going to disagree, but according to baye, yeshla p'simim. If the porch, this area, which we call the Nachsadra, is being held up by columns, although Rav Avrapsula Abay Omakshera, Abay says that this sukkah is a sukkah Kshera. Again, only in the case right now of Yesh La Patsimen. It has columns. Now, these columns are very close to each other. And therefore, there's no space of three tfachim between any of the columns. We have a chot there again, just to review. Himukefes batim, mishlosha ruchos, on three sides you have batim, and then on the inner side you have these achsadra, and the Achsadra has a kind of a gag, its own roof that shoots off, so to speak, from the defanos of his house into this chotzer, and he puts on the avir chotzer schach. And on the schach, which is now on the sfas gag Achsadra, he's got his defanos habayis, and that's not going to help him for a sukkah. And Tikras Achsadra, if it's wider than Arva Amos, then that itself is a problem. Yeshla Ptsim, but however, again, I'm presenting now the sheet of Abaye, that if on this side of the sukkah, the Achsadra has these poles, these Amudim, which are called Simim. And the distance between each one of these seem is less than three tfachim. Kshera. Why? Since the distance between each one of these tzimim, which are made of konim, of vertical poles, is less than three tfachim, we're going to consider it as if the entire area is closed off. We're going to apply the principle of lovely. And now we have a dolphin of a sukkah. And therefore, the schach is schach kosher. The sukkah is sukkah kshera. But in a case where there are no psimim, then Rava says the sukkah is psula. Now, a bioma kshera, what happened over here? You don't have an area of lovud. You're talking about a case where it's less than three tfachim. I'm sorry. We're talking about a case where it's it's more than three tfach. In fact, there are no there are no psimim at all. If there are no psimim at all, then how could Abai say that the sukkah is a sukkah kshera? Abai omar kshera, and now we turn to Daf Yud Chesam in Beis. Amrina and Abai has a principle called P Tikra Yored Visosa. Forget about the psimim. I don't need psimim in order to set up Defanos for this Achsadra, all I need is P-Tikra. P-Tikra means I go to the end of the roof and I have a, an imaginary Mechitza that shoots down 
from the top of the edge of the roof all the way down to the ground. This is what we call bod achis mechitos, that we imagine mechitos going all the way down. And in the case of a tikra of a roof, Abai applies the principle of p tikra yored vesose. And therefore, in effect, the porch, this uh, sadra, is covered, surrounded by the funnels. The roemes ovia koros, we'll see about the thickness of the, the koros, shalach sadra bechudan. In other words, bechudan means at the very edge. Ke'ilu yoreid ala oretz, vareze kemoshesh mechitzus lach sadra. So therefore, you have a sukkah that is makiv the mechitos on three tzadim. Wow. This is a breakthrough that we've never seen before. P. Tikra Yorid Vesosa. Rav Amar Psula. Lo Amrini P. Tikra Yorid Vesosa. Why not? How is it different than every Godach is mechitos? Why does Rav, in the case of Enlo Ptsimim, he passes the sukkah, and he rejects the application of the principle of P. Tikri Yorid Vesolte. Why? Omele Abayi Lerova, Lidi Doch, the Amat P. Tikri Yorid Vesolte. We're going to come to a ridiculous conclusion, according to you, Abayi, if you apply the principle of P. Tikri Yorid Vesolte. Because let's just imagine a sukkah that's in the middle of a chater. And it's covered, the, the schach is nisarim. Let's say each neser is one tefach. Is afilu hifchis dofen em tsoi. Let's say he removes the middle dofen. And now he's got two defanos on two sides. That's all he has left is two defanos. He removed the middle dofen. He's got basically what we call, if you recall, we discussed this, a sukkah that's a mavui mefula. It's got two defanos and nothing in the middle. According to you, Abaye, the sukkah should be kshera because I got schach that connects the two defanos on all four sides so that the two sides that are absolutely open, I'm going to apply the principle of p tikra yore v'sosem and extend the defanos in you know, from top to bottom, and you have now imaginary defanos, and a mavui kimafulash will now become a sukkah chero, according to you, by applying the principle of pitikri yorid v'sosay. Amalei, Sabai responds to, to Rava, and he says, even according to myself, even according to my own cheetah, that we apply pitikri yorid v'sosay, and that's only in an achsadra, or something similar, which means that the sukkah is surrounded on three sides by the mechit sabayis, the outer facade of the bias on all three sides, and no one can go through. It's not a movi sasum, because a movi sasum, I'm sorry, it's not a movi mefulosh, it's a movi sasum. Why isn't it mefulosh? Because you have batim, that surround the Achsadra on three sides. No one can cut through and get to the other side. All you're missing are the finals. In the case of the Achsadra, now I can apply and activate the principle of Pitikri Yor Vitsosan. However, in a situation where the Sukkah is in the middle of a Chatzah, the middle of a field, imagine, the middle of your backyard, you build a Sukkah, and now you remove one of the Defanos, and you've got yourself a mavui mefulash. Modina l'chabahi tahavi a mavui mefulash. This is already a mavui mefulash. We cannot apply the principle of pi tikra yored v'sose. Now the word mavui generally in chas, you should know, means a mavui sasum. On three sides, it's closed. It's only opened on the fourth side and opens into Rishas Araman, and that's where the Takana of Eruv of Lechi and Koro was instituted. However, a Mavi Mefulach is open on two sides, 
into Rishus Arabu, and Lechi and Korah will not will not be sufficient to be Matir a Mavui Mufulish that spills in on both sides of the Mavui into Rishus Arabu. Lema the Gemara says, "Habai v'rove b'plukta the Rav u'shmuka mifudi." Perhaps the question about a sukkah that doesn't have the finos, it's only surrounded by an achsadra. Is a machlokes not only between Abai v'rove as to whether we could apply pitik riyod v'sosim, but even a machlokes between Rav and Shmuel. Rabbi Rhodes, did you want to make? Did you want to make a comment? The Itmar, where do we have this machlokus between Rav and Shmuel? Achsadra, Bibika. He's got an Achsadra out there in an open, open space, out there in the gardens, you know. Rav Omar, as far as Shabbos is concerned, this Achsadra has no definos, it only has a roof. And it's being held up by four different poles, vertical thin poles. Rav Bakulo. Even though you're not allowed to be metaltal in the bika itself, Mirabonon, the bika has a din, a status of a caramelist, but inside the outside, you're allowed to carry. The Amrina Pitikri Yorvisosin. We view it as if we can have four defanos or machitos coming down from the Roof of the Asadra, Ushmuel Amar Ametaltun Vela Arba Amos. That the Asadra has the same status as the Bikr itself. It does not separate itself through P, Pikr, Yod, Vesosim. It is as if it was surrounded by the Fanos. And therefore, it's a Karmelis. No different than the Bikr itself. And you're not allowed to carry more than four Amos in a Karmelis. The law I'm reading P, Pikr, Yod, Vesosim. So the Gemara says, Aliba de Shmuel Kuliamalo Pligin. Even Abai is going to have to admit that, according to Shmuel, in the case of a sukkah, we're not going to apply the principle of Pitik Riyarvis Sosem. And therefore, if you have Schach on top of the Achsadra, sukkah is Psula. Because even in the case of an Achsadra and a Bika, where the Mechitos, which are created by Pitik are made for the purpose of the open space in the Achsadra. Why did he put up these? you know, this uh, roof on top of the Asadra so that he can enjoy the benefit of that space below the roof. And nevertheless, Shmuel says, I can't apply the principle and I won't apply the principle of Pitikra Yorav to be matted tiltal in the Asadra. How much more so in the case of Sukkah, where the Mechitz of Pitikra, Nasi Slitzar Chalal, the purpose of any machitzos that you would imaginary machitz that you would stretch down from the top, that's for the achsadra itself, not for the sukkah that's outside the achsadra. Certainly, Shmuel would hold that we cannot apply in that case to the gag of the achsadra, the principle of pitikra yore v'sosem. And now we look at that few tests of an olive. Ki pligi aliba dera, the machlokes, between Abai and Rav, as far as Sukkah is concerned, is according to Rav, with regard to Achsadra. Abai, Rav. Abai accepts straight away the sheet of Rav, who says that in Achsadra and Abika, if it doesn't have Mechitzos, it's considered nevertheless or Sayochim for Shabbos, you can carry there. And it's not a Karmelist, because we apply particular Yor Vesosim, and Abai applies that in the case of Sukkah as well. The Rav, Rav is going to somehow square and reconcile himself with Rav, um, he's going to tell you with regard to Machlokas, Rav, and Shmuel. Adkan lo Omar Rav Hasam. When does Rav say, Rav, when does Rav say that you can apply the pistol of Pete Dicker, you supposed to be Matir, Tiltal, inside the Achsadra? As Rishul Sayyachet Ella, the Mechitza, the Achsadra, who the Avidi. Because when he put the koros, this roof, on top of the four amudim, I always call it like a chuppah, the old-time chuppah, then he did it for the specific purpose of closing off that area below the tikra of the achsadra. So the mechitos that are imaginary 
are meant to function the the achsadra itself. And if it's litzore achsadra, litzore halal achsadra, then you can apply the principle of he take the over seven hacha says Abaye. I'm sorry, says Rava. Here in the case of Sukkah, where the Gaga of Sadra and the P took a lot of Avid, they weren't put up there, or his interest is not the Sukkah, which is the airspace that's outside the Aksadra, but rather for the sake of the Halal that's under the Aksadra. In this case, even Rav would agree that low, we don't apply the principle of P Tikra Yoreid Visosin. Blineta tomorrow here will start a nafu test with Tanan. So I wish everyone a great day.